Like I said, I've been in the game about 10 years and I've just been going strong with this thing. And now I'm really just, you know, still doing YouTube automation currently, but also helping people and coaching people on how they can do the same thing too. Sometimes it's good to just kind of see what's relevant because that's really what YouTube's about is just finding relevant topics, especially with YouTube automation. You know, a lot of times people think it is that following that they have like oh i can only see about a thousand views if i got a thousand subscribers mm -hmm. like that's absolutely not like it that's what social media in general now on any platform now you could take off with no followers right because i'm learning it's all based on that topic here hey, hey wait 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 i know you want to watch this next video but listen if you are an entrepreneur business coach business consultant or a small business owner who has a story and wants to learn how to create multiple streams of income from your story i need you to text me right now my book to 646-687-4152 that is my personal number i have been an author for over 12 years Years. I've written 10 books, four of them have been bestsellers, and I've sold over 100,000 books. But I've also helped a lot of my clients take their expertise and put it into a story, then create multiple streams of income from that. So I wanna help you do the same thing. So text my book to 646-687-4152. All right, let's go back to the video. So welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Today's episode is going to be powerful for all of my side hustlers out there, for all of my introverts out there, for all of my people who are trying to figure out how you can add an extra six or seven figures to your bottom line. I got the perfect person for you, especially, especially because you want to make money while you sleep. You want to learn how to stop exchanging your time for money, but allow automation to help you. As of 2023, YouTube is the second biggest social media platform in the world with over 2.6 billion active users, only second to Facebook, which is 2.9 billion. And as a YouTube automation expert who has redefined the way we perceive success on the most popular video sharing platform, we got my guy David Omari in the building with over a decade of experience. He has perfected his faceless fortune formula, enabling him to earn millions of dollars from YouTube using a process that involves using various tools, softwares, tactics to grow and monetize YouTube channels without ever showing his face or creating a single video himself. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for my guy, David Omari. Good, man. What's good, man? Yo, man. So... For the, I mean, for, for the insiders out there, they might have saw an earlier episode of you. Yeah. Um, and, and I remember in that episode, um, I was intrigued, number one, by how young you are. Yeah. Um, number two, by the ability uh, for you to um, monetize YouTube and monetize um, really uh the 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 space that has billions of people without having to show your face i think that's really important because uh in the world of social media in the world of you know people always having to uh oh i got to build a brand oh i got to you know what i mean like 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 everybody's trying to be a personality because they think being a personality is what's going to get them a lot of money but you're like nah so it's another it's the other way it's the other way right yeah. so before we get into that for those who may not know who's david omari Yo, man, you know, David Omari, YouTube automator, entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? Just really came up, you know, fresh out of high school, fresh out of college, fresh out of a nine to five, jumped into the YouTube game and, you know, just kind of took this thing to the next level. Um, you know, I made multiple millions of dollars from YouTube and YouTube automation. Like I said, I've been in the game about 10 years and I've just been going strong with this thing. And now I'm really just, you know, still doing YouTube automation currently, but also helping people and coaching people on how they can do the same thing too. Man, I love it. And and, and again, I, like, I, I, I love um, what you do and how you do it because I, I really believe that 
Um, you know, my shirt, abundance is your birthright. birthright. Like, there's abundance for everybody. Like, there, there isn't, you don't have to pick and choose. You could be exactly who you are mm -hmm. and still be able to, like, you know, monetize and still live the life that you want to live. So, what is YouTube automation, bro? All right, so let me break it down, and I hope y'all got y'all penny, y'all paper ready, right? So all YouTube automation is is just a faceless way of doing YouTube where you don't show your face and you don't make the videos yourself. Mm -hmm. You just outsource the entire process. So the first thing you do is you get a video idea. The beautiful thing about the video idea is there's millions of videos on a platform already, so getting a video idea is not going to be hard, right? You can take inspiration and do your thing. Next, you got to hire a script writer. Mm. After you get a script writer, you hire a voice actor. After you get the voice actor, you hire a video editor. And then from there, you get the thumbnail artist. They put the, con the content together, and then it's back in your ballpark for you to upload and optimize the video for YouTube. Mm. Right Now, the beautiful thing and the aha moment that people don't understand is that I've had personally a video where I spent $50 on it. Mm. So $15 for the script writer, $15 for the uh, voiceover, $15 for the video editor, and $5 for the thumbnail. And that video made me $10,000. Wow. Yeah, so the profit margin is crazy. I've had a student who did the same thing, right? Spent $45 on a video and ended up making $13,000 from the video. And so that's like the aha moment where you can take yourself out of the process, automate it, hire a team to do the whole thing for you, and literally run up a bag just doing that. And guess what you can do with that profit, right? You can take it and you can put it back into your business with your YouTube channel and keep making more videos. Mm -hmm. And it essentially is paying for itself from the YouTube snowball effect. Wow. Yeah. And so and so just to understand this correctly, like not only cause 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 I, I I'll be honest, when I when I thought of faceless videos, I immediately was like, oh. I'm gonna have to narrate it, and like I'm gonna have to write the, I'm gonna have to come up with the idea, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, write the copy or whatever the case may be, and then I'm supposed to record it, but you don't do any of that. Nah, bro, we delegate. Wow, we delegate. wow, we delegate. wow. We delegate. We go on Fiverr. Yep. We go on Upwork. There's other places like People Per Hour, Online PH Jobs. There's so many different places you can find freelancers, but I personally in 2023 currently only use Fiverr and Upwork mm. because I see that's like the best work I can find and yeah. also cheap but still good quality, right? Yeah. And so, for example, you go on Fiverr, you can sort, and this is one one big gem that you should do when you're looking for freelancers is I personally never choose a freelancer that has less than five stars mm. and less than 100 reviews mm. because what that tells me is that person just never made a mistake, mm. right? And just building relationships with these people, you know, you want to make sure that they're good for the long run and you're just not swapping out somebody because you want your content to look alike, right? If you're yeah. building a loyal audience, they're going to want to tap into content that looks very similar to what they've been watching, right? They don't want to see a completely different edit every time, you know, you drop a video because your editor is not, you know, mm -hmm. uh, just going to be sustainable and he's not going to be... you're getting the editor from Fiverr as well. Yeah, everything. We're getting a script writer, voiceover, and we're getting a video editor and a thumbnail artist. We're getting that all from Fiverr, wow. right? Or Upwork, right? We're basically asking them for sample content, right? Yeah. Because this is a big issue that we see. A lot of people have issues building these teams because they just hiring people based off of what they see on their Fiverr and what they're showing, right? It's cool to show work that, you know, you can just find online and post on your Fiverr account, but we actually want to see if you can actually do the work that we're looking for. Mm. So what do we do? We basically go on to YouTube, right? We find videos that we're trying to take inspiration from and make better, and we say, hey, can you do editing just like this? Mm. Can you make a thumbnail just like this? Can mm. you write a script just like this? Can you do a voiceover just like this? Get sample content and you can do this from a to z so get a sample right first you get your video idea with that same video you go to your script writer and say hey can you write me a paragraph you know just summarizing this video in in, a, in this formula right through the youtube automation way they'll give you that sample okay take that script now go over to your voice actor and say hey can you just do a quick narration of this i want to see how your voice sounds so i can make sure before i hire you this is the person I'm looking for for this video. Then after that, you take it over to your video editor, right? Hey, can you just take this voiceover and make a sample clip about what the voiceover is actually talking about? I want to see how your editing skills are with this. And can you make it similar to the video idea that I'm sending you? Then from there, you go to your thumbnail artist. Hey, I got a thumbnail example. Can you make something very similar to it? Mm -hmm. And then keep in mind, that's all free. You're just getting sample content from all these freelancers. Mm -hmm. And then once you decide like, oh, these are the winning, these are the winning players on my team. Now it's time to put them in a ball game and then you pay them for the video. And mm -hmm. then that's how you know it's like, okay, they can do exactly what I'm what I need. The video is already going viral on YouTube mm -hmm. because we're taking inspiration from something that's already working. Mm -hmm. So we're even, it's not a guarantee that it's gonna go viral, but you have a, a much higher chance of doing it that way opposed to you just saying, oh, video idea, I'm gonna go hire a bunch of people that say they can do this, mm -hmm. put up the video, it doesn't do good. Well, yeah. if you go that route I just told you with getting sample content, now you have a higher chance of the video actually doing well. And guess what that $50 turns into? Mm.
turns into profit. Wow. So that's really just like, you know, finding your whole team and building it up and automating the whole entire process. Wow. Like it mm -hmm. all starts from just sampling the content and getting it. And then also making sure that every single individual freelancer understands the psychology of YouTube and just YouTube automation channels. Yeah. And so, and so, you know, for somebody who's just starting out, right. Um, yeah. Who's, who's like, all right, I want to get into this. Like from an idea perspective, do you, do you think it's, it's, it's wise that, uh, they find a niche that they're interested in. Correct. Like, yeah, talk about So, that. you can go two ways. And both ways work. Mm -hmm. Some people, you know, they get in the game and they, they go with their passion and they choose a niche that they're passionate about. Like, for example, the NBA niche, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe they're passionate about football, soccer, whatever it may be, right? They get into those niches and they do really well. Some people, they don't, right? And then there's, those, those, there's niches out there also that it's like an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, what is a good opportunity right now? I don't know, let's just say John Morant, mm -hmm. all the drama he's been in. Mm -hmm. That's a really good opportunity to make yeah. content about, right? Maybe Kanye's doing something with the blogs and you know, that's a good opportunity. And so mm -hmm. y'all may not be passionate about Kanye West or mm -hmm. passionate about John Morant or even know how good of a basketball player he is or a rapper or artist Kanye is, but you can still leverage that and you know, get a lot of clicks from that. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes it's good to just kind of see what's relevant because that's really what YouTube's about is just finding relevant topics, especially with YouTube automation, finding a relevant topic and then just building off of that mm -hmm. and then just building a loyal audience and then just you know keep on doing the process over and over. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. And then so like what what's that uh, you know, how does somebody like now they mm -hmm. follow that methodology? Um, you know, like, like how do they know how to title the, the video? Right. What, what's the description that they put on there? And I, I'm, I'm happy you asked that, right? Because with YouTube automation, the whole process, 20% is really just about building that team mm. when it comes to YouTube automation. The other 80% is about getting views and traffic to the actual video. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to titling that, that video and also throwing that thumbnail on there, Number one, it has to spark curiosity. Mm -hmm. Like the, the viewer has to be curious about whatever that video is gonna be about. So when it comes to the titling, the SEO, all those strategies, that is something that you definitely need to have and definitely need to learn. But let's just go back to that, right? Let's just say, for example, we're talking about John Morant. Mm -hmm. Let's just say he gets banned for a third time. Something mm -hmm. happens where we make a thumbnail with him holding up a gun or something, right? Mm -hmm. And say, John Morant got caught again. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, just making that title go back to that thumbnail, sparking mm -hmm. a curiosity for the mm -hmm. viewer. Because the formula really is just hook value CTA mm -hmm. on YouTube. That's really what the formula is. Mm -hmm. And so you, your first hook is when they see the thumbnail in that title, mm. right? So the title just has to go based off of what that thumbnail is and basically what a summary of what the entire video is, right? And so after that, you then jump into the video and in that first five seconds, you probably wanna show a clip of that whole situation on how you're explaining what happened to John Moran again. Mm. Then from there, the viewer's hooked for the first five seconds. Then you jump into the intro. After you jump into the intro, you wanna cut all the way to you know, now get into that valuable piece, mm. right? Because what we trying to do is, I know, I know you mainly just asked about the title, but I'm really breaking it down to for like, sure, for sure. you know, to understand like, yeah. you know, like it's farther than that. Like mm -hmm. it's all about the click through rate and it's all about the average viewer duration, right? The amount of people that actually see the video that click on it, right? And the amount of people that actually watch the entire video, mm -hmm. right? Because all YouTube really cares about is keeping people on a platform and it's just simple. The more people you get to click the video, the longer they watch, the more views you're gonna get. Right. And so back to what I was saying now, you want to make sure that that hook that you gave them and get that little piece you gave them, mm -hmm. you want to give them the rest around 40 to 60 percent of that video. Because when you do that, now the viewer is waiting for that impactful moment that you that you hooked them in on. Mm -hmm. Right. And because they're waiting for that, as soon as you show it to them, number one, it boosts your average viewer duration. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, now the viewer is actually watching most of the video. Mm -hmm. Right. And then from there, you just go into call to action, which can be subscribe for more content. X, Y, and Z, but that all starts from that first hook, which is that thumbnail and that title. Yeah. Right? So that's super important. Yeah. yeah. And I, and I, I love, I love that you said that because one of the things that I've learned, uh, by being on, on YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, now and, and, and really having this show even, um, it's, it's really like YouTube actually rewards you, um, based on being able to hold people there for a long time. Right. So like, you know, for me, I used to think that subscribers matter. Like, yeah. oh my God, you know, I got this, I got a million subscribers here. I got a thousand here. I got that. And I used to think that, um, if I had a million subscribers, then that means that a video that I dropped should do a million views. views right. Mm -hmm. Or 
if I got a thousand subscribers, then I can only do X yeah. amount of views. You know what I'm saying? Because I only have a thousand subscribers. But what I've realized is that depending on how well you create that hook, mm. you create that value, mm. YouTube is actually going to say, wait, they don't even care about how many subscribers you have. They're going to say, wait, this video right here, like, like I'll give you a prime example, right? Yeah. I have a, a, a clips page for Inside the Vault, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and so while the, the full videos are on the Earn Your Leisure network, mm -hmm. the videos that we chop up clips, we put those on the Inside the Vault yeah. channel. Well, we got about 23, let's say 20, 2,300 subscribers on that, you know, on that actual page. And there was a clip that I, that I put on there that did a million views. Yeah, it went crazy. I'm like, yo, how do I got 2,300 <laughs> subscribers yeah. and I got a million views on this on this video? Yeah. And it's because it's it was the right, it was the right cook. Yeah. It was the right value. Yeah. People stayed. People shared it, right? Talk a little bit about that, like like yeah, the, man. The, the, um, the the impact that YouTube actually has in crazy. in this process it's as well. Funny, it's funny you said that because one of our clips from the last time we was on a pod mm -hmm. went crazy viral, yeah. like just crazy, right? Crazy hook, right? But just back to that, like you know, a lot of times people think it is that following that they have, like oh, I can only see about a thousand views if I got a thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. Like that's absolutely not like it. That's with social media in general now, on any platform yeah. now, you could take off with no followers, right? Because I'm learning it's all based on that topic. Yeah, It's about the topic of the, whatever you're talking about. That's way bigger than, than the amount of people that's, you know, tapped in with you. Now, of course, do they matter? I would say, yes, it does help the content get yeah. that first buff and that first pump, mm -hmm. right? So you two can start testing it with more audiences, right? But the beautiful thing about just having that viral piece of content and something that, you know, is in the market that you know is going to work is it's always going to do well regardless of how many subscribers you have. So to speak to subscribers don't matter. It's true. It does, they don't really, they really don't matter. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're building a loyal audience. So you want to, you know, build family and all of that, right? right? And community. But for the most part, you should never let that be a limited belief to where you're like, man, I can only see this amount or I can see this amount. Because even people with millions of subscribers mm -hmm. sometimes... You feel me? They can't even crack a hundred thousand views. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's really not about that. It's just almost like just being a celebrity, right? It, every fan is not gonna show up to your shows. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's just how it is with social media. But and that's why people also gotta understand too. That's why there's always a need. There's never gonna be a time where you're just saying like, oh, well, I'm just done going viral. I went viral enough. Right. No. Right. Because if you think about it, every single time you're on any platform, you're consistently building new audiences, new new followers, new this, new that. That's the same thing on YouTube. You always got to get new people, new people in the mix, new people in the mix, because that's how it continues to grow. Mm -hmm. If you just keep the same amount of people around, it's not going to grow. Yeah. And that's yeah. how channels decline. Yeah. yeah. And so can anybody do YouTube automation? Or, huh? this, or is this is like, do you got to be a techie? Do you got to be young? Like, what's the, what's the, what's the game, man? Anybody can do it, bro. Yeah. No matter where you're located, mm. no matter what age you are, mm. right? Doesn't matter what your resume says. Doesn't yeah. matter what your diploma from high school says. Doesn't yeah. matter what your college degree is in. Anybody can do it. Wow. If you can go, you know what I'm saying, to Burger King and drive through and order a burger mm. and get the burger in your hand, then you can do YouTube automation. Bro. Wow. That's it's, it's it's really that simple. Like, I can't wait till my kids are at a certain age. Yeah. I'm about to really put them on. What have them doing it? Because it's simple. It's really just delegation. Yeah. Right? If, if you know how to, like, get online and just, you know, talk to people and say, hey, I need this kind of work done, and you understand the YouTube algorithm, and you understand how to, you know, blow channels up in videos, yeah. you can do it. It's, yeah. it's a super simple thing to do. You, you know what I wonder, though? Like, I wonder mm -hmm. how much easier we can make this though too using artificial intelligence, oh, right? Because 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 as you were as you were talking about the things that you have to do, like I, you know, I created a platform called Book Rich, um, and we've literally helped authors make six and seven figures by yeah. automating the process, right? Yeah. Which is why I'm such a big fan of of autom YouTube automation mm -hmm. because. Before people would pay me a whole lot of money mm -hmm. for me to teach them how to make money, you know, with their book, and you know, average author make it two hundred fifty, uh, or uh, average author sells about two hundred fifty books in their lifetime, and then you know, makes about a thousand dollars a book, right? Like yeah. for the whole the whole book. Oh, yeah. So 
you know, I started, you know, people paying a lot of money just to, you know, for me to teach them how to, how to, how to, you know, uh, you know, write a book, make money off the book. And then when I, when I got introduced to artificial intelligence, I'm like, uh, a lot of the stuff that I was teaching them, I could actually employ yeah. AI to do, you know, AI to do it. So we created a platform called Book Rich, and a lot of people been making a lot of money mm. off of their books using automation. Mm. And so now, when I think about the YouTube automation, I'm like, you know, you know, apps like uh, VidIQ, right? Yeah. I know VidIQ has um, uh, artificial intelligence where it can it can help you with title title ideas and title ideas. things of that nature. And and then even like from a script perspective, there might be you know some some apps that could. Help them, oh, right? It's, it's, in in, in yeah. your in your view, how is artificial intelligence going to like? Is it changing the game, and how is it going to change the game long term? It's changing the game yeah. for sure, and yeah. we definitely leveraging it. Yeah. And I got a whole bunch of bars coming. So, mm -hmm. like I said, this is it's it's really big. So, the only thing with AI that you also, like you absolutely cannot do at least for right now, mm -hmm. is the voiceovers. YouTube is just against robot voiceovers. They just they're just against that. But anything else you can you can automate with AI. Mm -hmm. Right. So I would say use ChatGBT to write a script, but the way the script is actually written, mm -hmm. it's supposed to ask like open-ended questions mm -hmm. to the viewer and like give them infinite dopamine kicks to where it's like, mm -hmm. I it's it's so like the psychology is really simple to understand. Right. So in the video, Right, and we do this in podcasts. You just want to ask a question, get the answer. The the viewer is always looking for the answer, so you're always asking a question with the, with the answer, but also another question, and that's how it's supposed to go. Absolutely. Chat GBT can't write scripts like right. that, so you need that human. But there's a but. Mm. So I don't know if you ever heard of Quillbot. Yeah, I know Quillbot. Yeah. So we go on that, YouTube. That's the, that's the best kept secret, though. You about to give all the sauce out. I got to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got to my people, man. Yes, sir. Look. So you go on YouTube, right? Let's just say we're doing a YouTube automation channel. He laughed. I already know where you're going with it. That's too much. I don't know if we should get this away for free, though, man. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got we, love, we love our insiders. You can get us with us. I got to take, I gotta yeah. take care of him. Yeah, look, yeah. He like, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so look. Yo, now real quick, before, like, I don't want to belabor it, insiders. He going to give you the tip. But when you said it, I know what it does. Because yeah. I use, I use Quillbot for my book authors. Mm -hmm. So when you said it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Light bulb. I just thought, oh, man, I got it. So yeah. let's just say, for example, we make in, I just use the NBA. I love using the NBA as the example, right? Let's just say we're, we're doing an NBA video about, you know, LeBron James, like the richest, the, the most money LeBron James spends or something like that, or something about what he spends his money on, okay? Yeah. So how LeBron James spends his money. Yeah. I know that there's probably 10 to 20 videos on YouTube that went viral already. Yeah. I go, I pick a video. Yeah. I show the transcript. Yeah. I toggle the timestamp. Yeah. Keep in mind, they paid for this YouTube automation script. Right. Like they paid for it and it's proven because the video got 10 million views. Right. So I take that entire transcript, yeah. go to Quillbot, yeah. par paraphrase the whole thing, and it'd be adding words too. So it makes the script longer sometimes. Right. And literally it changed the whole thing. Right. And then I get my voice actor to go do the voiceover. And the beautiful thing is, it's not, people will say, oh, it's still in this copyright. No, it's not, because it's paraphrasing. And on top of that, the person will never know because the voice actor is going to say something completely different, different. from what they, wow. they, were, they wrote. So it's literally just a paraphrasing tool. It's just using it to take inspiration and then paraphrasing it. So you essentially just got a free YouTube automation script, but it, it doesn't stop there. Wow. We got to pay a voiceover. That's just something we got to do. Yeah. Until YouTube at least allows at least a really good artificial intelligent bot to like, you know, do voiceovers, right? So we skip over that. Then we go to video editing. Oh, man. There's literally AI sites that will not only compile stock footage of what the voiceover is saying, but it will also put the transcript of what the voiceover is saying on top of it so it makes it more engaging. Wow. Then from there, you got Canva, right? You can use that for thumbnails, but there's also AI softwares that actually make pictures Wow. That would do. Now I will say this: it's not going to be as strong. Yeah. I still will go get a thumbnail artist, yeah. but AI does help with that. But the two like strongest pieces wow. with AI when it comes to YouTube automation is going to be the script, and it's also going to be the video editing. Those okay. are the strongest components that you can use AI for with YouTube automation. But wow. I'm sure as it develops, as ChatGPT keeps going up into their phases, yeah. they're going to have this thing down packed, bro. It's going to be it's going to be amazing. But the cool about play. That's now, that's the one right there. Like yo, if y'all if so so here's what y'all to understand, right? 
I want you to understand that the work has been done already for you, mm -hmm. right? When they say success leaves clues, like if you're not on YouTube automation, if you don't understand the power of being able to do this, right? Especially for my insiders who a lot of them uh, work a nine to five, make a lot of money, trying to figure out how they can make more money, yeah. right? This is literally something. So when we say automation, the, the, the word of automation is delegation. delegation. Right? Automation just means you're, 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 telling, you're telling somebody else, and in this particular case, a system, mm -hmm. what to do. You're giving them instructions, and, and what you're telling them to do is going to make you some money. Right. And the work has been done already. Mm -hmm. And so what you don't understand is that the work has been done. All you got to do is uh, not reinvent the wheel. Yeah, take inspiration. Yeah, take inspiration. You don't got to be innovative with YouTube automation. It's like, wow. I literally say that all the time. You literally can go on YouTube and find endless examples of a channel that did one thing and another channel that did the same thing. And you literally see that they both got the same results or some one got better. or the, Sometimes the one after the one that took inspiration does better because... All it is is a game of making better content. Right. Right. That's it's, it's making better content. That's right. simply what it is. Wow. But it, it's, bro, it's it's such a it's such an amazing world. Like you know what I'm saying. Like into today, like 2023, currently right now, um, we literally have a channel that we started in January. The first month made seven hundred dollars mm. in January. Second month five thousand. Mm. And it's consistently doing anywhere from five to seven thousand a month. Right. I think last month we did like four thousand, but closer to five thousand. Mm. Do you know we only post five to seven videos on that channel? Wow. And every single video only costs $42. Wow. So wow. it's like $300 to make 5000 Wow. So what I'm saying is this ain't got to be something that's like your main thing. This ain't got to be something, you know, that you got to do like as your main thing. It right. could just be some side hustle that you're doing. Right. right. I think everybody should do YouTube automation. I think everybody needs to do it just right. to at least test it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And just see if it works for you. But it, it works for almost everybody that tries it. It just, it doesn't demand so much capital. Right. Right. There's so many ways to get around spending money on those videos. Yeah. Right. And on top of that, the profit margin is just ridiculous. Right. Like, and, and so wait, wait, and, 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 and from a lifestyle perspective, because maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe I just want to paint this picture, right? Yeah. Um, you've, you mentioned you've made millions of dollars. Millions, bro. Off of, off of YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, Yo, know, talk talk about your lifestyle, man. Cause I like 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 you know what I mean? Like like I, I you know like on on your way here, you know what I'm saying? I got a text. He's like, yo, um, how's parking, man? Should I should I drive the Lambo or should I, like you know what I'm trying to say? And 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 I, I appreciate that though because I'm like, man, you know, for somebody who, um, you know, again, you don't you don't show your face, so it's not like, um. Like fame has its cost. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, I'm not famous. Yeah, you know, right. And and and, and, and that's and that's why I appreciate the most mm -hmm. is because you know me as a as a podcaster as a uh, 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 social media personality, financial educator, whatever. Like I like my personality, my face is like literally millions of people have seen me, mm -hmm. heard me. I was at the gas station the other day. Um, and I was on the phone, and I was like, you know, I, you know, I talk loud. You know what I mean? So I'm talking loud on the phone, and a, the guy didn't even see me. He just heard me, and he shouted like, "Yo, I know that voice!" And then I peeked over. He was like, "Yo, I knew that was you. I know your voice." To the point where, you know, in certain situations, I can't just be, be, be. I just can't be moving high. I can't walk around like I need to. I want. I want to walk around. I, I don't even go to the supermarket no more, to be yeah. honest, right? Dang. But you. Multi-billionaire. Yeah. Yo, you could go anywhere. Yeah, people don't. And people don't know. And that's and I'm saying that in a good way, yeah. where you could be eaten. Yeah. And, and I, nobody know nothing. And anybody can be in that position. But the beautiful thing too is like, like the had to speak to what you said, like I literally would go in a mall, you know, go shopping. And you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't be doing too when I go shopping, I don't be dressing too like crazy. I just yeah. keep it simple. Right. And I only like really, you know, turn up when I'm going to events or I'm going out, whatever. Right. But I go in a mall, I go to Louis, I get Louis, I go to your, I go get all my stuff and I'm just walking around and, you know, nobody's like, you know what I'm saying? People wondering like, yo, how he, right. he real, he mad young. Right. Buying $800 t-shirt. Like right. what, what, what he yeah. do? Yeah. And then I always get that question like, yo, what do you do? 
And so from the lifestyle perspective, bro, I mean, it's amazing. Like, you know, just being able to drive and own my dream cars, you know, my G-Wagon, my Lamb, all like all these cars that I got. That watch is fire. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going to You know, lie. bust down watches. Yeah, like, yeah. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But just to speak back to like our first episode, I remember I had told you like, bro, I can't do the Lamb till I get some real estate yeah. and I do this and I yeah. do. So, you know what I'm saying? On the 21st, we close on a 60 unit. Yeah, bro. Wow. In the trailer too. Off of off of YouTube money. Off of that money, bro. Off of that internet. A sixty a sixty unit real estate apartment building. Apartment building, generational wealth that you get to pass down to your kids. Yeah. Off of YouTube money. Yeah. And yeah. guess what? I ain't even show my face to wow. do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't have to. I ain't have to leave my house wow. to do that. Right. And as far as like the faceless millionaire. Yeah, man. A faceless. Yo, is that, is, that a, is, that, is that a good thumbnail? Can we can we title that? <laughs> Whatever y'all want to do, bro. <laughs> It's only this episode. We go. Is, is it the the face the face millionaire? Faceless millionaire. Man, oh, man, I gotta make a book, bro. It's Yo, look, let's talk, bro. <laughs> let's I'm do. telling you, we we can do it. We can put a book together. The faceless millionaire, man. That'd be crazy. Or, yeah, man. nah, but yeah, man. I mean, you know, I go on vacation. I'm monitoring my channels from anywhere around the world. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We got a big project in Africa going on right now, We're building this like ten thousand square foot home. Wow, it's crazy. Wow. Yeah, it's in Ghana, but wow. it's just. Yeah, bro. YouTube changed my life. Man, and so and so, how, like, how did you did, like? Was this a mistake? How did you stumble into YouTube? Like, how did you figure out that yo know, YouTube automation without showing your face was gonna be the way that you were gonna build generational wealth for you and your family? Well, just you know, I always loved YouTube. When I got into it, you know, I was very successful. Yeah. I came up off of two channels. One had half a million subs. The other one had two hundred thousand subscribers. But I got spread thin fast, bro. Mm. Like I just. I had to figure out a way to take myself out of the process and still be able to generate income, mm. you know what I'm saying, and make that work-life balance work, mm. right? And so that's really like how I, how I really like stumbled across it because I had already been hiring thumbnail artists before. Mm -hmm. I had tried out video editors before for certain videos that I just felt that I needed it to be at a certain level. So I understood delegation already. I understood the proper like way to like delegate tasks to people to do the work for me mm -hmm. on YouTube, but I just didn't understand the full process from A to Z. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I first stumbled across it. And, and it was the most money I had ever made on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like I started, I started to get into YouTube automation and I was noticing that I was making more money mm -hmm. with less work, less time being involved, mm -hmm. right? I was able to spend more time with my family. Like it, it just was, you know, a big like discovery for me. And then after that, I was like, okay, I'm never doing YouTube any other way again. Wow. Like I still got, I still got channels where I'm, I'm heavily involved as far as my voice and things of that nature. But for the most part, all my other channels, I got channels and niches that I don't, bro, I don't know nothing about. Wow. Like, I got a whole anime channel right now. I ain't even, I've never read an anime book, probably never watched the anime movie. No, I don't know anything about it, but it's consistently making me cash flow wow. every single month without me doing anything. And so, and so, and so, you know, like, I know that YouTube has rules around when somebody could start automating, right? Yeah. Or, or, or monetizing, monetizing, right? right yeah. And so I think it's like a thousand subscribers, if, if I'm not mistaken. They actually dropped it. They it, dropped it. Yeah, so now you only need 500 subscribers mm -hmm. and 3,000 watch hours to get into the partnership program. Okay. To turn on the ads, though, to get the ad revenue money, you need to have that 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. But at least now, you can get in the program gotcha. at a lower threshold. So that actually just happened. There's a lot of new stuff they introduced. Gotcha. It's going to be like crazy and way easier for people to really take it to that next level. And, and, that, and that's that's why I wanted to sort of like pivot into, um, I know you have a five-day challenge coming up, yeah. right? I wanted to pivot into that because while it seems simple and nuanced enough, um, like, all right, I'm just going to go and do it. Like, all, all for this interview, I'm, you know, I'm, people are going people are gonna to want to run the play. There are some particulars. There are some things that people need to learn yeah. in order to really kind of get, you know, Get, get, you know, uh, get the the ball rolling really yeah, quickly, yeah, right? Yeah. Like yeah. learning how to build those subscribers fast, mm -hmm. right? In order, you know, in order to be able to get those watch hours, in order to be able to get the subscribers, in order to start to monetize. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about your, your five day challenge yeah, and what people man, can expect. And, and I'm I'm loving that you're bringing that up too, because a lot of people they gonna go and run a play. They it, yeah. it, it sounds sweet and it is sweet. Don't yeah. me, it's sweet, sweet, sweet yeah. to this day. It's sweet, yeah. but. What I'm saying though, this is what the five day challenge is. Number one, people gonna get to spend five days with me, which yeah. is crazy. Cause like, 
it's just crazy yeah. to even say that, right? Yeah. But on the first day, we breaking down, right, the success, the successful mindset of a successful YouTuber. Mm. So the mindset of a successful YouTuber is on day one. So really just breaking down, like, hey, the kind of mindset you need to have going into this, right? Yeah. Day two, on day two, we talking about monetize my monetization strategy mm. to millions, or mm. monetize teach you how to monetize to millions. Mm. Literally, the exact strategies that I use to make the exact money that I'm making mm. X, Y, and Z. I'm giving it all to you. We got blueprints, we got workbooks, we got so much stuff, right, that they're gonna get to when they're a part of this, right? Then the third day, I believe we start to break down just team building. Mm. So now we're talking about how you can actually build a team. Because keep in mind, they're building this team and they're gonna walk away from this challenge with the right team. Cause that's the biggest fumble. People get into this, like the people that's watching this, they're probably gonna try and jump into this. They probably gonna go through five different editors before they find the one S. So we're establishing that in the challenge. Like mm. we're gonna help you build that perfect team, mm. right? And they're also gonna get a list. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm saying this right wow. now. But they're gonna get a list of all of the freelancers that I've ever used. Wow to make millions of dollars from. Wow. So they're gonna get access to stuff like that, mm. right? Templates on hiring people. All, bro, it's, it's, it's so impactful. Mm. Um, day four, I believe I'm breaking down, you just, my, I think I believe, I'm, excuse me, I think I'm breaking down either my six figure marketing strategy or just, I think it's either the fourth day or the fifth day, one of those two days, but we're breaking that down and I'm showing them how I like ran a bag off of brand deals because mm. that's something that I never really talk about. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm talking. Which is true, right? When yeah. you think about it, if yeah. you if you have the eyes, the brands want the eyes. So, yeah. mm. it's it's so that's that's it's, that's, it's super I'm impactful. Money. Yeah, it's yeah. super impactful. All five days are just going to be super impactful. Like yeah. I said, they're going to get to spend time with me on a Zoom call, talking face to face, yeah. asking me questions. Uh, you know, especially if they go platinum. So it, it's going to be super exciting, man. I'm going to be doing a like a huge giveaway, giving away a Mac. You know, what I'm saying we're going to have some surprise guests. Mm. You know, what I'm saying I don't know, I can't say no names yet, but mm. just know, yeah, they're going to be bigger than bigger than YouTube. So just mm. basically, and and, I, and that's what I love about it. Anybody who watches this show knows. That's what I love about five day challenges, yeah. um, because I mean, there's a lot of uh, misinformation on the internet. Right? Oh, there's goodness. a lot of people who are claiming that they're expert in things, they're selling courses and things yeah. of that nature. Um, but the truth of the matter is, before you buy anything from anybody, you want to make sure that you are testing their knowledge. Yeah. You're doing the due diligence. Yeah. You're yeah. seeing. Yeah. Does this person really know what they're talking about? Right. right? And so, yes, you can watch this podcast and say, man, yo, yo like th the podcast is the entryway yeah. of showing like this, this guy's an expert. Yeah. But not only from there, now you get to spend five right. days. Right. You spend five, like, I don't, I don't know a person that can fake for five days. Yeah. Facts. Right. <laughs> you ask a person one question, you could tell whether they really know what they're talking about or not. And yeah. so you get to spend five days yeah. where people are really getting the inside of how to run a YouTube automation. Like, I need to join, yeah. right? Because I'm telling you, like, this this light bulb, like I, just, I, like, I literally got the light bulb moment where I'm like, man, there's so much things that happen yeah. that I could always add a financial spin to, mm -hmm. right? And that, that's actually gonna be my first, I'm gonna try this out, my first mm -hmm. YouTube video where like, let's say a Kanye West, right? Mm -hmm. If somebody, and, and this is this is the power of user AI, um, for me is like, let's say for instance, Kanye West um, loses his deal with Adidas. Mm -hmm. And they, they say, hey, you know, uh, he loses $6 billion, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. A video comes out, it goes viral, right? Mm -hmm. I take I take the transcript of that video, I throw it into Quillbot, right? Mm -hmm. And then it paraphrases for me. Then though, and this is this is my this is my sauce. Mm -hmm. Then I say, please add an ending, mm -hmm. right? Let's say I go to ChatGPT mm -hmm. and I say, please add an ending to this script. Mm -hmm. Like so, let, now I'm gonna take the script, the paraphrase script from Quillbot. I'm gonna throw it in ChatGPT. I'm gonna say, "Hey, ChatGPT, this is my script." In the same tone and voice, I need you to add an ending that focuses on why ownership is important. Mm. So now it gives me a paragraph that talks about why ownership is important at the end. Mm -hmm. I then now 
I could probably read it, right? Because people know my voice. Right. I could probably read it as a script. Yeah. And then I'm going to get the same, the same type of virility, go viral mm -hmm. as the other video. But now it's true to my brand because I'm adding that extra piece on it. Mm. Wow. And that's all. And, and wow. And using some of that automation, I gotta find those 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 AI automation tools where we could create them videos yeah. straight from there. Now I got viral videos that's every just, day. That's just you throwing your sauce on it. Just throwing my sauce on There's it. So many ways you can spin it. It's wow. Like, it's not really one true way of doing it. As long as you're just not the person that is you know responsible for every piece of that puzzle. Right. And then and then and then, and then to that point, right? Is like. Now you get a team, yeah, right. You you get a team, and and so and so how, like how how important is that? And I know you go over that in the challenge, mm -hmm. but how how important is that to your success to have like that 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 right team, bruh. that combination like, together? I, just, I ain't gonna lie, I just fired somebody this week, bro. Mm -hmm. Like straight told him, like because he 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 took too long to deliver the video. Wow. Um, and so it's super just important to have that team, bro. Because yeah. like I said, like. You can go through so many people before you find that right team. If you can get it right on the first time, yeah. you're saving a lot of time yeah. and you're saving a lot of money, yeah. right? Just under making sure they understand the platform, yeah. right, and understand what they're what they're actually needing to do, right. And speaking to that, the team needs to be able to communicate, mm -hmm. right. So we use this thing called a Trello board mm -hmm. where we keep track of every single detail, the video idea we put it in there. Then from there, the thumbnail artist drops that thumbnail on there. Mm -hmm. Then from there, it goes to pending script. Mm -hmm. The script writer knows to write the script and then drag it to script complete mm -hmm. and then pending voiceover. Mm -hmm. And then voiceover knows to make the voiceover and move it over to voiceover complete to move it over to video editing pending. Mm -hmm. Then the video editor knows to grab that and move it over to video editor video editing complete mm -hmm. ready for upload. Mm -hmm. And we run it all over just like that. And it's they're all in there. All the whole team is in there collectively, mm -hmm. right? Like little stuff like that we didn't talk about, but right. they, they need to learn how to do that, right? Which I'm gonna break down, right? Right. And so just organizing your team. And so, but that all starts from just like you know having a good team. Some yeah. people you're gonna hire, they're gonna be like. I just want to stay on Fiverr. I don't want to. Mm. I don't. I'm just gonna stay on Upwork. I don't want to be a part of your. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You have to make sure you know like those people mm. that's gonna actually, you know, be a team. Right. And they know the game. So many freelancers that, that's out there that know YouTube automation. Right. It's not something that's new. Mm. Right. But yeah, bro, that that team is big. Yeah. That's like. And and and, that, and that's why that's what like like just just in in how you just broke that down, I would have never thought of that. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and like and like like you know. You don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. Right? And so even even as I, you know, as I started telling you the play that I was gonna run, mm -hmm. now you just gave me more information that made me realize, oh duh. Right? Like, like I would have never been able to think about that because um that's not what I do. So I I don't have I have limited information yeah. on YouTube automation, but this is what you do every single day. Every single this day. is what you know, you you get paid from. This is what you've used to build wealth. Mm -hmm. This is like, like, yo, this man is not 30 yet, y'all. I just want y'all to know that. He's still in his 20s. This man is not 30 yet. And he just said that he closed on a 60-unit apartment building that he is investing in a 10,000-square-foot project in Africa, in Ghana, Right? And this man is not 30 years old. And so I want you to kind of wrap your brain around that for a second. You're never too young. You're never too old. The law is the law. Things work the way they, they work. You will never become wealthy if you're only focusing on your physical labor. You only have, I don't care who you are, Oprah, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Michelle Obama, everybody only has 24 hours in a day. And if you're exchanging your time for money, you could only make as much money as people are willing to give you for that time, right? If you're exchanging time for money. But when you start getting into the delegation game, when you start delegating, when you start creating systems, then that is the systems that pay you. Mm -hmm. And what, what's the limits on the amount of money that you can make? It's no limits. No limits. Sky is the limit. No limit. Sky's the limit. No limit. Yeah. Uh, how, how can people get to the to the to the challenge? Yo, so number one, guys, is ytachallenge.com. 
I'm sure my guy Ash is going to have it linked in the description below, yeah. um, or you guys can search up that link on Google. Um, and you know, just just tap in, man. Cause so like, YTA yeah. YouTube automation. Yeah. So challenge. YTA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We gonna we shorten it YTA so it's just easier for people yeah. to search it up. But yeah, mm -hmm. YTA challenge is how they can tap in. Man. And so and so like being so young, uh, making making a lot of money, learning uh, you know how to create generational wealth. Now you're in a space of teaching it. You want other people to you know to learn it and get you know learn it as well. Like wh what's the what does the future hold for, for David Obari? Like how do you how do you see how do you see life shaping up for you? That's a great question. So number one, I already know that YouTube and Google, I'm not living longer than YouTube and Google. Mm. I know that. Yeah. So I know that this is something I could do for a lifetime, yeah. right? That I can pass down to my children, they can pass down to their children, yeah. right? And just keep on teaching the family the game, yeah. right? I know that this platform is only gonna get bigger and better, yeah. and there's gonna be more lucrative opportunities that's gonna come from it. Yeah. So I'm I'm YouTube automation to the grave. You yeah, know yeah. That's, that's really what it is for me. Of course, investing in more real estate, yeah. investing in my mentees and just giving them as much game as possible to change their situation, yeah. you know, and change their lives too, no matter what age they are and where they located. Yeah. I'm just trying to give it back to the world, man. Cause like I said, I, I, I tried the rapper route. I tried mm. the athlete route. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I tried, I tried all of that and, and you know, it just didn't work out for me. Yeah. Yeah. But as soon as I tried this YouTube thing, Sky was a limit, and like and like and like Jay Z said, you only got to be right once. You only got to be right once. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and then you, I mean, you mentioned you know like mentees, right? So you have students mm -hmm. that you know have have learned under you. It, you know how important is that? Like, do you have a mentor? How important yeah, is mentorship? I have a, I have a couple mentors. Yeah. Um, you know, shout out to shout out to Neo. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying one of my biggest mentors. You know, what I'm saying that's taught me a lot and really put me on the game. Um, but bro, that's that's honestly the most impactful thing I ever invested in. Yeah was a mentor. That's the most impactful thing I ever spent my money on. Yeah. It's just investing in mentorship yeah. because when you have a person that's somewhere where you want to be in a specific position in life that you want to be at, you got to you got to know that you have to invest any dollar it costs to get to where it's at cuz I tell my students all the time, like all the time like, "Yo, I made so many mistakes in the beginning of my YouTube career, mm -hmm. like so many mistakes that literally set me back 2-3 years." Wow. One simple mistake can set you back so much wow. opposed to you you know what I'm saying? Getting the blueprint, following the road mm -hmm. to where I'm at, and then learning how I did it, and then working up towards that. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 the shortcut to success. Yeah. It's just you know having somebody that you can learn from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I know I need to write a book, I'm going to ask. 100%. You know what I'm saying? If I know, you know what I'm saying? Anything that I'm trying to learn, I always look for that person in that lane that's really good and they're an expert, and you know they got social proof and they have a track record and they got results, I'm going to always invest whatever it costs. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm still like, this year alone, probably invested like half a million dollars just in my personal development. Yeah. Not yeah. including real estate or anything else yeah. I got going on. I'm including the business just into myself Yeah. just to get to that next level. So yeah. it's and, and you know, the great thing about it, though, is that when you invest in the right people, it costs you not to invest in them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 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 like when you think about the the results that you get by having again, I'm I'm using the word the right mentor yeah. because not everybody's the right mentor. You got to, like you said, you gotta uh, see some social proof. You gotta know that they really do what they say they, they do. do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that allows you to to you know get to that next level. And like my mentor says, if your coach don't have a coach, they don't deserve to be a coach. They deserve to be a coach and they a student, man. right? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because how 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 are they leading you if they don't know how to be led? Yeah, and that just to speak to that, back to what you said about the cost, like I always, you know, and this sticks in my head, rent free, it lives in my head, rent free. Neil always says it. It's like, how much is this gonna cost you if you don't yeah. take this step? Yeah. And I just I always think about my past, like, man, this this small investment I should have made yeah. cost me so much yeah. because I just I try to go the easy way out. Yeah. Right, shout out my pops. He always told me, "Don't take the easy mm -hmm. way out." And I always mm -hmm. took the easy way out, and I always get slapped on the wrist because yeah. it always ends up costing me more of either time or money if mm -hmm. I'm trying to do it a certain way, right? And yeah, man, I just feel like following the right and the path to success is always going to be the shortcut to get there. So, yeah. Yo, y'all need to join the five day challenge. YouTube automation challenge with David Omari, YTA, YTA challenge.com. We're going to have the link in the bio. Uh, so you can definitely tap on the link, go straight there, uh, tap in, spend five days. I'm sure there's some gems 
that he has not given you yet that he's going to give you within a five-day challenge. Like, right, you know, today we were able to go high level. So even if you wanted to just, you know, start running a play, you can. But I'm sure there's some nuances, right? If you want to build this as a business, if you, want, if you too want to become the faceless million... We got to write that book. You too want to become the faceless millionaire... Cause yo, let me. I'm about to. I'm about to end, but real quick. Cause I'm telling you, like y'all don't understand. Like there's a lot. There's a lot that comes with being rich, yo. Yeah. There's a lot. Like yeah, like I you, you I try. You know I try not to talk about money or income or, or and stuff. And you know sometimes you know if I'm in a program, so like like you know I, I was in a program and I made a lot of money, mm-hmm. um, in that program. Um, and sometimes that's a that's a. A salute to the mentor. Like I don't want to, I don't want to hide and be like, "Oh, this person may help me make millions of dollars," and not let yeah. the world know yeah, yeah, that yeah. they helped me yeah. make millions of dollars, yeah. right? And so, and so that's why, if you ever hear me talk about money, it's because it's like, all right, I want to give credit where credit is due. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, though, it's like there's a lot that comes with that. And so, for all my people out there who are like, "Yo, you, if you look, yo, I had somebody hit my DM the other day." And was asking me for twenty thousand dollars, like random person. Like I said, yo, what? I said, man. So if you if you don't want the random people in your DMs, if you don't want the if you don't want the cousins, the the, the fifth cousins coming out there telling you that they need help, if you don't want the yo, I had I, I've had a, a football coach. Yo, I'm talking about yo. I had, well, it had to be like. Like eleven, so like ten or eleven, right? Yo, I had a football coach reach out to me. Something that I did over thirty years ago was like, yo, you know, I see your success. Yo, you know, if it wasn't for like, they tried to take credit. Oh my! Or some like, yo, I like I helped shape you when you was an adolescent playing football. I said, bro. I, hate I said, really, bro? bro. I said, really. I hate right. So if you don't want your football coach, if you don't want random 20K uh, uh, requests, you don't want the family coming out the woodwork, you need to become a faceless millionaire. Yeah. You need to tap in five-day challenge with my brother, David Obari, YTAchallenge.com. Hit the link in the bio or hit the link down low. Uh, if, 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 I mean, I'm not even going to give them another, another shot. I was, yes. was going to say, where, where can they find you? But where can they find you? Hey, man, tap in David Omari on Instagram with the blue verification. That's Make it. Sure you don't follow the Nigeria accounts where they be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> David Omari on Instagram. And I also do have a channel where I do show my face called David Omari, where I give game here and there. It's very rare that I drop a video on there just because I'm big on the faceless content. But if you want to tap in, you can. All right, y'all tap in with my guy. He going to teach you the game, nothing but the game to help you grind. This is, you know, you know, I love to teach you how to how to live your best life, how to live in abundance, how to get to that next level. And this is that. This is something that you cannot afford to not do. I'm going to do it, so I'm going I'm to I'm come back and tell y'all about results, but I'm going to do it, uh, but y'all need to do it as well. Uh, make sure y'all tap in. Hit the link in the description. It's going to be there. We're closing out the vault. Another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Make sure you follow us on all social media platforms at Inside the Vault. Visit our website, InsideTheVaultShow.com. Me, I am Ash Cash. Make sure you visit me, IamAshCash.com. Follow me on all social media platforms at I am Ash Cash. And make sure you join the Abundance Community. Go to AbundanceCommunity.org. We have a lot of behind-the-scenes footage. We got questions that he didn't answer on, on this particular show, but it's all behind-the-scenes. So make, sh- make sure y'all join AbundanceCommunity.org. All right, y'all. We're going to see you next time, same time, same place, in God's will. All right, y'all. Peace.